Hey Vagabonders, today I'm going to show you how to take apart the jealousy window. We're going to replace the seals on it and make her shine, buff her up a little bit. Tune in to see how I destroy, not destroy, just take apart. This episode is going to be a little different as the first half of this episode was recorded over a year ago and the second half was recorded, well, just this last week. But I hope you enjoy and let's get right into the video. So I, I don't mind bugs, but um... Hmm, taking the seal off, we found uh, a little bit of a surprise. We're going to eradicate them with a, uh, a vacuum. Because why not? <laughs> you gotta remember where some of these go. Like, this looks completely different. Uh, yeah, I know where these go. These are easy to differentiate. So you've run into a dilemma. On just about every one of these, the screw is completely rusted out. This one's not too bad. Okay, I got this one out. But that just made it look like it was easy. It's not. And that's what the problem that we're like running into on most of these. So what are we gonna do? Um still trying to figure that out. So we're gonna do something a little demicky and we're gonna weld a Phillips head to the actual uh, screw itself because- I've been drinking soda pops. Six more times. Tag, you're it. <laughs> this is no fun. Look at this. Careful. Use gloves. Careful. You ever had glass shot in your hand? Oh. That's not fun, I Um, or I'm just that good. Here, here, here. After sitting for about a whole year without being touched, I decided it'd be a good idea to put this window back together and test fit it before I finished painting the side of the bus, just to make sure I didn't have to adjust anything. Now, there are a lot of parts to this, and well, the seal kit that I bought from Wolfburg West, as you can see here, it had so many different little seals, I was a bit overwhelmed, but I just put it to the side and decided I was just going to get to work and figure it out as I went. As you can see, the old seals were pretty crusty, pretty cracked up, and most of these are like that. Uh, the easiest way to get this out is not in fact breaking it into little pieces and pulling it out with pliers, but later in the video you will see the correct technique which is using a Dremel and uh, cutting where they're crimped. I tried scrubbing it at first with just a regular red scotch brite, but I decided to buy some of this aluminum cleaner. It's meant for boats, so I figured it's gotta be strong enough to work for this. My metal is quite oxidized and at first I thought it would be a good idea to use this stuff inside. Um, it is not. This stuff is acid. And if you're not wearing a respirator and you're inside, it's gonna get in your lungs and definitely irritate them, possibly kill you, certainly give you cancer. I had a bunch of parts to clean and I decided to take them outside. Once outside, I gave everything a good old spray down. Once again, even if you're outside, make sure to use a respirator. This stuff will get in your lungs pretty easy. And then it was just a matter of giving it, well, tons and tons of elbow grease. More elbow grease than I wanted to, but scrubbing it is really the only way to get that oxidation off, even with this uh, aluminum cleaner. As you can see, it, it came out quite shiny, quite nice. And, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll do. But it was now time to clean the glass. Now, the glass itself around the edges was uh, quite foggy, but thankfully it cleaned up quite nice. I thought that it would be ruined, kind of how the windshield is ruined. But this stuff that you see here is mostly just mold, and with 
any glass cleaner, it'll just come off with a little bit of a scrubbing and a microfiber cloth. But it's a lot easier to clean all this stuff while it's taken apart, so go ahead and get that done before you assemble your windows. You'll thank yourself later. It was finally reassembly time, which meant uh, time to figure out where all these seals went. Now, there are two sides to these seals. There's one that's like a little bit crimped and one that's smooth. Make sure you look at your old seal and see how it goes in before you remove it. Now, these are those crimps that I was talking about. Uh, the best thing to do is get your Dremel and grind them out. I think that's really the only way because you're not going to be able to pry apart that crimp. Trust me, I tried. You're just going to bend everything apart. So cutting it and making it smooth is definitely the best solution. You have to make sure to cut both sides as they're both holding the seal. But once both sides are cut, the old seal will just slide right out. And then using a bit of glass cleaner as a lubricant, I just slid the new seal back in. Now it looks pretty good. There was a little spot here where it was a little wavy, but that's just because of how it was rolled up. And I think that after being in the heat and the sunlight for a little bit, it'll probably straighten out. Now these side seals I had read online were impossible to do without removing the hinges but I didn't want to believe that, so I slid out the old seal, and well, if the old seal can slide out, why wouldn't the new seal be able to slide in? Now, it did take a little bit of finessing. I used a little pick to kind of push it behind each hinge, but it's definitely possible to do it without removing the hinges, and the hinges are riveted on, so unless you want to re-rivet it, I recommend doing it like this. Once again, slid it in, cut it to size, and now it was time to do the other side. Now it does get easier to do this as you go on. I was getting better, my technique was getting refined, and I was kind of learning how to become a window smith. Now make sure that when you take apart your window, if uh, your seals are pretty crusty, take a look at how they're installed because this top seal is a little bit different and you have to make sure you install it the right way down. Thankfully, Mallory had saved all these screws in one jar and they were all jumbled up. I threw them in some navel jelly to remove the rust, left it overnight. The next day, I rinsed it off with water and then sloshed it around in the cup with a little bit of a chain lube just to, you know, prevent it from rusting again. These four are the ones that secure the top and the bottom. I bought myself a little bit of this gray silicone as when the original window was put together it seemed to have some kind of silicone or gutter glue or something. The silicone I think is going to work fine, it's just to make sure that wherever those pieces screw together you get a nice seal so no water gets through. This part I found to be quite difficult. Putting this seal around the glass is uh, no easy task. I will say it's definitely a good idea to keep that window clear nearby as it's the perfect lubricant for getting things all fit up together. But I was so focused on making sure that the seal fit correctly that well, I did this. If you look here and here, you'll see that it's not only backwards, but the top part is upside down. I was trying to get some cool creative angles for you, you know, the top down shot, and then I didn't realize that my camera almost fell and didn't record half of what I was trying to record. And as proud as I was of the work that I had gotten done so far, little did I know then that I was going to have to do a bunch of it all over again. So don't be like me, make sure that when you're assembling it the first time, you do it correctly, because if not, you're gonna have all three put together. You're gonna think, oh, I'm so happy. This is great, thumbs up. And then you're gonna have to uh, take it apart and put it back together when you realize, oh, well, it's, uh, it's not gonna fit like this. Yeah, so learn the easy way and to learn from my mistakes, make sure that you're looking at what you're doing as you put it together instead of just putting it together like a robot, like me, a dumb robot. But hey, look at this, it came out quite nice. It looks beautiful. I think I say quite nice a lot. But now we can install the main window seal. Now, unfortunately, due to the fact that this is not a pre-curved seal, it is quite difficult to install. I used a little bit of blue tape to kind of hold it in place, but until it's actually installed in the window opening, it won't take those curves around the edges correctly. So just keep that in mind when you put it together. It's quite frustrating, but now, we can finally attempt to install it for the first time and see if everything's gonna line up and fit. 
You must keep in mind that I did not only repair this window seal, but this is a completely different roof welded onto my bus, so if none of the measurements are correct, or if some of the measurements are incorrect, it's not going to fit. But thankfully, after a little bit of uh, lubricating, it fit. And it looks beautiful. I'm happy with this. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. But unfortunately, we're all out of time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.